Well, happy Thanksgiving and can't wait to watch the Seahawks and 49ers with the rest of the country tomorrow night. And I have a sense that we're going to see a lot of what San Francisco will throw at the Seahawks of what Arizona did a week ago. And, and Seattle is going to have to manufacture some of the big plays, much like they did against Arizona. In fact, this was the third longest pass play of the season, a 48-yard gain that was the last play of the first quarter to Ricardo Lockett. And I thought John Lynch and the crew at Fox did a really nice job of breaking this down. But let me take it a few steps further with the opportunity of our chalk talk here. And even though it's Thanksgiving, we will never deviate from players, formations, plays. There's a reason that Pete Carroll had made mention of Ricardo Lockett needing to feel, feel his speed a little bit more in the game plan leading up to this Arizona game. Why? Well, because the coach knew exactly how Arizona was going to play the Seahawks. They were going to play a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. They were going to get up like Cromartie did on Paul Richardson and get right in his chest and play press man. They were going to account and over account for the run game and they were going to bring lots of stunts and lots of pressures to eat up every one of those lanes, try to suffocate all of those gaps between the tackle and make life in that run game very difficult and when that happens, well you have got to find a way to win on the perimeter. Players get Ricardo Lockett and his speed on the field. Formations, get into a heavy run formation. This is your two tight ends, one back personnel group and they get into wing and they actually motion Luke Wilson across and everything in this formation in this play and in the tendencies and keys for Arizona is this is going to be a zone run and they've got a run blitz blitzing those linebackers right in the gaps bringing and accounting for every one of those gaps in this formation to stuff the run and because of that players formations plays you ultimately get to that play that play action pass so everything is zone run to them in fact they call this split zone where Luke Wilson comes across and then he actually comes back across the formation to cut off the linebacker, the end, the edge player, if this were the run play. And in play pass, he comes across and helps in protection. Arizona, they are in straight what we call cover one. Not cover zero, because they've got a safety in center field, but cover one. Man-to-man -man coverage. Okay, these two linebackers got the back. Linebackers on tight end. Safety is on the other tight end. Man-to-man -man coverage with one free safety. Cover one. And that free safety's job, yeah, it's a little bit to read the eyes of number three, and John Lynch hit on this perfectly. In this play, it was all about the speed of Ricardo Lockett. Is really Paul Richardson gets hemmed up. Nobody there. There's no other outlets. There's nowhere else to go with the ball. This is really Lockett on Patrick Peterson and this free safety. And when you've got a two-on-one for Arizona, the only way you beat it is exactly what Russell Wilson does. He gets good protection, as he should, in eight-man protection. And then watch closely his eyes and his feet. They showed this during the broadcast. When he sets to throw, when he sets his feet to throw, look at where his feet are. His feet are aligned to throw that deep outside post to Paul Richardson. And because of it, you see that free safety at the last second spin out. Everything is telling that free safety that that ball is going back across the field. He plants and throws and does like a wonderful point guard in distributing. I can look here and still have the talent to throw the 48-yarder across the field, hit the big play. It will be imperative down in Santa Clara tomorrow night and really for the rest of the season into December when you're going to see a lot of these defenses be aggressive and play man. It's imperative to have the ability to punch them back in the mouth. That's exactly what this, day, this play did. And it's exactly what the Seahawks passing game will have to find down the stretch.